Okay, so James, we're getting towards that exciting time again where the players are starting to return, the gym work's starting, and for you, what will that look like for the next few weeks with the players? Yeah, so uh, guys are due back uh, tomorrow, um, so it'll be you know, Wednesday when that comes around. Uh, we'll see most of them come back straight away, um, and there'll be a, a period of testing. We'll do a full screen with all of our guys, something that's a little bit new for some of them. Um, kind of look top to toe, you know, start afresh basically to try and see where, where we need to work. Um, we'll also do some performance measures on them just to see where they're at now. It's kind of a baseline measure for us. Um, kind of highlight any key strengths or weaknesses and try and build on them from there. It just means that what we program is very specific to each individual guy. Each guy needs something different, so we make sure we cover off all those avenues. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a hectic schedule in the season as well. There was a lot of cricket in a short period of time, particularly during the blast. Yeah. I know that that was a few months out from the end of the season, but the fatigue still still weighs there, doesn't it? So how important has this last month been for the players and how much contact did you have with them throughout that time? Yeah, I mean, the, the break came at a good time, I think. Um, we've got guys who played every single game. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are front-line bowlers, some of them, you know, compete in both sides of the innings, you know. One guy with the gloves on the whole time and then comes out by three. It's it's no mean feat. So the recovery is massive. Um, you know, we've had kind of sparing contact with them I would say. We've kind of given them a bit of space. There's been some contact and some kind of measures, you know, just to make sure they come back in a state where they can test and hit the ground running basically in a fit state. We're not starting from kind of the ground floor almost, yeah. maybe one level up where we can try and get some real work done as soon as we possibly can. But yeah, by and large, I've given them some space to try and recover because yeah, the season's long. You know, there's you know, in excess of 80 games when you chuck in friendlies or 80 game days, um, and some of those guys have, as I said, played absolutely all of them. Some of them have chosen not to. Some of them are already playing abroad. Um, so yeah, it's it's a bit of a balance to find. Um, but I'm sure that the hot weather will make it a bit easier for those guys who are out there. That you mentioned those players who were abroad as well. Um, are you in contact with them a lot, just making sure that they're, they're doing the right things and, and staying active? Completely. Um, you know, the guys, the playing schedule out abroad is significantly less rigorous than the one here, um, and obviously they're not all playing first class either. So the, the number of games is significantly low, I mean, and they can do some training alongside. Um, uh, their cricket practice as well as their games on a weekend and yeah I'm in touch with them pretty regularly I'm making sure I'm in touch with them every single week um, there's not there's a few guys out there at this moment in time so it, it, it takes a little bit of time to get around but from from what I can gather the guys are, are doing really well we've got guys who've been out for a while coming back into fitness and starting to play again which is fantastic news um, and yeah we'll just keep a close eye on them from from afar um, so they can just be reintegrated within the group as soon as they come back. Yeah, and it's an interesting time as well because while we've got players gearing up for, for the new season in the next few months, you've also got players who are who are working, you've got players who are studying and, and looking maybe towards their careers away from cricket as well. So how do you kind of balance those two parts of their, their lives? Uh, it's a it's a tough one. First of all, it's a, it's agreeable with, with Mickey and, mm -hmm. and the coaching staff, you know. We, we want to be supportive of players um, studying and enhancing you know, themselves as CPD at the end of the day for, for these guys. Um, but it also gives us some options you know, after cricket um, and I think it's really important that you know, we give them the space to be able to do that. But it has to work on our terms too so there's a, you know, an expectation that they'll continue to match or certainly come very close to the kind of level of physical work we'll do here. Um, and nothing really replaces kind of supervised training. but. Um, being able to be flexible for them is is also really important. It keeps them kind of fresh, I guess. You know, if they get a bit of variety in what they're doing, it keeps them keeps them motivated. Um, so yeah, it's it's going to be a little bit of a different um, winter, I guess, to compared to the last two. Certainly, COVID's kept pretty much everybody on site. Um, there's been very little room for manoeuvre, which in one sense means we could get some real quality done, but in another means that you know, training's a little bit less diverse and it's quite one-dimensional. It's always here at the Encora. So we're going to use that to our advantage a little bit this year. Whilst we won't have everybody on site, we'll be able to get off site, we'll be able to do some, some different modes of training, um, you know, visit some places and hopefully make it a bit more exciting. Yeah, and you've got two new players as well, Zach Chapel and Matt Lamb, that will join in tomorrow um, for, for testing. You obviously, you've got a good relationship with, with the squad already. When two new players come in, how, how does it look with you getting to know them and, and setting out their programmes? 
Certainly, I think one of the most important parts of my role is building rapport as fast as possible. At the end of the day, I'm, I might be asking them to do something they're not super keen on doing. You know, not everybody wants to run for miles and miles, that's just kind of how it works. So you've got to try and get a feel for who they are, not just as a player, but as a person. And um, if you can connect with them on that kind of level, then it makes tasking them with something that they don't really want to do that much easier. Um, but then it's also a case of kind of figuring out what they want to work on and what they've been working on in their respective other clubs and counties. Make contact with the relevant person at um, you know Warwickshire and, and Nottinghamshire in the last few days, um, just to see what their plans for them had they were to stay. Um, and then we can kind of amalgamate things or combine things with the way I see kind of our players developing throughout the winter as a whole and we try and find a happy medium I guess something that works for the player but also works for kind of our vision and where we want to see our guys reach um, so yeah I don't think the integration will be will be a problem both guys are great having met them so far um, and yeah I'm sure they'll be a real hit. Yeah and lastly this is Mickey's first full pre-season with the club I know he's really big on fitness it's one of his non-negotiables so what kind of conversations have you had with him around around this period coming up to Christmas? Certainly we'll, there'll be no let up in terms of what the guys are doing. Um, we had a really successful year last year that showed with guys being able to perform all season. We had some success on the pitch as well, which is fantastic. And you know, there's no doubt the fitness played a role in that. Guys being able to perform right down to into, into the September months is, is testament to what they did in the winter. Um, so this will be no different. Uh, kind of coming in a little bit early this time. I mean, when he started in January. Um, just means that you know I've got that much longer to work with the guys, um, so the, the intensity will, will be no different. I guess they're training for even longer, so my expectations will be exactly the same, if not greater. And I know Mickey's exactly the same. This is a non-negotiable for him, um, and it, it means that we'll be in a really good position come March.